There's one Stream Deck reacts instantly. <laughs> oh, hey everyone, and welcome aboard. I'll be your Captain Hillian today, along with... Hey, it's Lieutenant Drake here at your service, and welcome to Showcase Sunday. Yeah, number 96 to be exact. And yeah, the first game that we've got on our list, uh, I have to say I did not expect the music to keep going this long. <laughs> this is King of Dragon Pass, which is quite an old game. Which people could probably guess from the fact that it's 4 by 3 ratio. Yep, it looks rather unique compared to other fans. Like, you don't usually see someone dressed lightly like a Native American in these fantasy games. <clears throat> Unless you go to Japan games where they have a few times, but still, looks rather unique. Yeah. Uh, for anyone new, Showcase Sunday is where we try out some games for about half an hour each. I have a timer set to 25 minutes. Uh, we can go a bit over or just stop early if wanted in, to see if any games that we go through <coughs> are any fun for streaming later. And yeah, uh, I have seen a playthrough of this game. I've never really played it myself. Uh, but this, is, this image is a tiny bit misleading. Also, it is considered pretty offensive to have a, a feather handband like that for Native Americans because uh, those feathers need to be earned. So, yeah, that, that is why people don't like the whole feather cowl stuff anymore these days. Since, well, it's, it's rather, considered rather insulting. Though, this is this world isn't based on America or anything. It is based on its own thing, and yeah. With that, let's just uh, get back to the stupid timer and start. Let's see. There once was a time when gods and people walked the earth together. Your clan traces its ancestry back to those times. Your clan history begins when you joined the forces of the storm guard uh, god Orloth, uh, Orlanth. Back then, Orlanth was simply one of many upstart rebellious gods bent on conquest of the world. Orlanth's unique contributions, contributions at that time were personal honor and a close kinship to the other deities who seemed to be on the winning side. Uh, let's see, to shrink this tutorial box, click it, click it again to grow it. You are in charge of a clan which just emigrated to Dragon Pass. You begin with choosing your clan's backstory. Once you've read the text, click continue. Okay. Uh, there are no right or wrong answers. Choices mold the mythological profile of your clan. For now, click the whoop with or uh, uh, choice. Whoop, what? You can review all your choices before starting in Dragon's Pass. After many tribulations, adventures, and discoveries, Orlanth proved himself worthy of marrying Ernalda, the Earth Mother. The two formed the marriage ring and created a great harmony in the world through this sacred bond. Your clan took part in the wedding ceremony. Most clans either whooped with Orlanth or learned a secret from er 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 Ernalda. A few clans stood with Elmo, god of horses and the sun, as an honor guard. How did you prepare for the great marriage? Uh, this is some stuff that will have effects on your clan's rules and such, I think. Um, okay, we can scroll down. Let's go, yeah, drank the eighth known drinks so that your heads would hurt during the ceremony, okay? 
Each early event starts your clan with knowledge of a different divine blessing. Okay, that's done. Again, there is no best answer. Roland struggled to remake the world was just beginning, and many other gods joined him in it. Roland fought Yom, the Bright Emperor, and undertook many wars of conquest. Other, more peaceful deeds were just as important. Your earliest famous event was... Let's see, the healing of Roland, when the merciful goddess Chalana Aroi joined Orland's tribe. The Hundred Day Hunt, which Orland and his son Odalia tracked... Uh, yeah, when Orland and his son Odalia tracked the Sky Bear, just at settlements where Orland and Iseris, the talking god, outwitted foreign deities in a difficult negotiation, and the procession of the animals where Uralda, the cow mother, led the sacred herds into. A, that's okay, this is quite a long list. The um, talking god? What? Yeah. The, like I said, this is all me. This the background of this game is all its own, to my knowledge. So there is just a lot of mythology and such in this world. Uh, let's go with the cow, since cattle is a pretty big deal, I believe, in this game. Uh, let's see. If you decide that your ancestors took the Nalda Bin as thralls, they see nothing wrong with the practice. Otherwise, they dislike the institution of slavery. Let's see. Orlan succeeded in remaking the world, thus began the golden era called the Storm Age. Orlan's son, Vinkot, was a famous warlord during this time. Most people in the area were his followers. He introduced new principles, such as the rule of hospitality, which said that after you invited people into your steads, you could not attack or harm them. Thus was much treachery banished from Orlanti society. Many who would not have survived agreed to, the, to his new ways in order to gain his protection. He was a great organizer and helped the many scattered people form into new clans and tribes. Your clan was one of those aided by King Von uh, Wingott. After you proved yourselves robust and capable of survival, Wingott placed a remnant people under your protection. They were the Nodabin, or stick farmers. You had a choice whether to make them into thralls, slaves, or adopt them as members of your clan. How did you agree and how did you add these strangers? Let's add them as family. Uh, the foes of the, Vink the Vinkotlings were many, and your people fought hard against them. Which one of them in particular did you fight? It's the Troll Lord, Ukagar, King of the Basmoli Beastmen, Chinchkin, Moor, the Elf Warlord, Tata the Green, Champion of the Flatland called Prax, and Vesvena, Warlord of the Ice Tribe. Uh, your ancestors expect you to retain enmity to your ancient enemies, who are still around to bedevil you. Um, let's go with the Ice Tribe. The Storm Age ended in disaster when the gods and creatures of Chaos came and destroyed many, nearly everything. Orland and his allies fought hard, but Chaos almost won. Many gods died and new ones rose to prominence. Many people died too. Catastrophe shook the world, the sunfall, the rain of blood, and the terrible laughing tsunami. The darkness got so bad that even Orland and his companions had to abandon humans to their destiny. Only a few deities, either small ones or weak ones, remained. The world stagnated and died. Your clan was diminished to a ragged handful of hardy survivors. No choice here, this is just how it is. War clans can devote more clan magic towards war, and more of the farmers can muster to fight. Peace clans can devote more clan magic towards crop and herds. Balanced clans are in the middle. Herod the king was the leader who emerged amid the turmoil of the darkness. The efforts of Herod and his companions helped set the world in order again. He created the laws that we follow to this day. One of the great distinctions which Hayward discerned among his clans was that some of them tended towards either peace or war, whilst was maintaining a balance between these uh, uh, two principles. What kind was your clan? Let's go with balanced. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. I agree there. Yeah. You'll begin with a shrine to the deity you first awakened or continue to worship. As always, different choices change the game slightly, but none is best. Or wouldn't that, shouldn't that be none our best? Anyways. Finally, the sun rose again. While the rest of society worked to protect themselves, find food, or otherwise just survive, the first priests worked to re-establish links with the ancient deities. With a new harmony between people and deities, the world was slowly improved. 
Once the awakening process had begun, it got easier and went quicker as the gods woke each other too. Who was the first deity which your clan helped to awaken? Uh, let's see. None, our assets are good enough. We retain loyalty to our living deity. Go. Udalia, the hunter. Urok, the stormbull. Elamo, the loyal thing. The mother, uh, goddess. Orlanth, the father. Isaris. Um, let's go with or Orlanth. Probably best to mooch up to the big boy. <laughs> Things have been different since the dawn, 1300 years ago. Orlant and the other gods retreated from the world, leaving it to mortals. You can still contact them through ritual and sacrifice, or enter their realm by reenacting stories about their deeds, which contain great magic. But they no longer walk beside you. When you settled in a new place, you marked this great change in the world by naming your land not after a god, but after a mortal like yourselves. You called it Herothland, in honor of the king who taught you how to survive during the darkness. Uh, whatever your ancestors chose, you'll want to treat dragons and their kin the same way. About 600 years ago, a dragon approached you in either its own form or that of a human with a you know, dragon soul inside it. The dragons have always been hostile, or at the very least utterly uncaring. Orlant was always the Dragon Slayer. You have to choose whether to believe it and cooperate, or learn to do what uh, dragons know, or whether to maintain neutrality. What was your attitude towards the dragons? Um, let's go with neutral. Nope. Most of the people who said yes to the dragons moved to Dragon Pass, a land to the north of your home. You stayed in Hortland, and it was a good thing too, for a little over 200 years ago, the dragons rode up and rose up and ate everyone who lived in Dragon's pa Dragon Pass. Well, <laughs> good thing we didn't follow then. They ate the Orlanti along with all the other foolish humans' dragon friends. For a long time, no humans went through Dragon Pass. They were sure that the dragons would eat them too. So why the hell are we going there? Recent events made you think twice about the abandoned land of Dragon Pass. A generation ago, a usurper who called himself the Pharaoh came to Herodland and started a civil war. Your clan broke into disputes, sometimes violent, about whether to support the Pharaoh. In the end, your group of dissidents decided it would be better to risk the dangers of Dragon Pass than to stay and kill your own kin, the greatest sin of an Orlanthi can commit. Those unable to live under the Pharaoh would move northwards to Dragon Pass. People of similar beliefs from other clans had already made the same decision and settled there. So you make a new clan, just as your ancestors had done in the, king day, in the days of King Herod. Uh, larger borders are harder to guard, enemies find it easier to elude your patrols. Oh, part of it is... Your new clan made the dangerous track to Dragon Pass and selected a place to live. Like the other Orlanti uh, refugees from Herodland, you, yeah, you set it in Priviniland, a, a mountainous area in the southeast of Dragon Pass. You would call these lands your home, or Tula. Tradition requires you to make a formal land claim. How much land did you claim? Yeah, let's see, as much as we needed, no more. More than we needed to grow into. Lots more. Huge tracks, far more than needed. Uh, let's go with a medium amount. <laughs> Stick with normal difficulty and a short length for your first game. Restart lets you choose, lets you start over and make new choices. Click play to begin the story in Dragon Pass. Okay. Uh, yeah, there, there's no easy mode. It's normal is the normal. <laughs> your clan history. To, uh, uh, this, is, this is just a summary. Okay, forge a tribe and remain king for 10 years. Become the first king of Dragon Pass. Okay. And yeah, <laughs> that was all of that. And it's going to be a lot more of reading and such. Let's see. Sacred time is two weeks of magical ceremonies which precede each new year. Here you allocate the clan's magic resources for the coming year. Members of your clan council or ring offer advi advice. Click another advisor for their advice or the text to hide it. Click the boxes to allocate a point of clan magic to crops, herds, and war, then click proceed. This leaves a reserve in case you need it later. Okay, let's see, we have seven in reserve. <clears throat> Pardon? Let's see. Stick pick, oh, that's... 
<laughs> that's our reputation bar. Now, let's see. We made a dangerous track to Dragon Pass and claimed more land than we needed to grow into. We built a clan hall, more some steeds, no some steads, and a temple to our lands. But when we left Herodland, we lost much of our connection with the gods. Other clans we knew back in Herodland also sent emigrants to Dragon Pass, so we already have friends and enemies in the new lands. It is now time for the annual allocation of our clan magic. Let's see. Spend what we can on mysteries so we can sacrifice to understand and uh, perform Orlan's blessings. Devote three to diplomacy. Then we should do rituals for war, trade, and mysteries. Leave something so we can deal with any crises that come up. Uh, if we spend it all, we won't have anything left for emergencies. But if nothing unusual demands our magic, we won't have gotten its benefit. I don't know which is better. Yeah, probably best to keep some in, in store. Spend all we can on mysteries, then we can sacrifice, yeah? It's easier keeping people healthy than trying to cure them later. I think we should allocate two to health magic and conserve a few points in case we need to call on Chalana Aroi during the year. I believe that's another of the gods. Uh, a lot two to crop magic. Our herds are also important, so earmark one for them. Leave some magic available in case we need to call on the Earth Goddesses. By the way, with an Uraldat worshipper on the ring, we should perform more livestock rituals. Yeah, each of these follow diff... <clears throat> I believe each of them can follow different uh, gods, which can lead to uh, things getting improved in certain areas. Let's see. Okay, two to war magic and leave a few points. Let's see. Let's put one in diplomacy, one in mysteries, one in health, and one in crops, and then proceed. Let's check on the neighbors. The menu at the left. And click relations. And I believe this is what you'll see for most of the game. I think. So it is a bit of a an Excel sheet, but I believe there is more to it. Let's see. Uh, relationships, not farming. Relationships with uh, the other clans of Dragon Pass are important for winning. It generally, it's generally better to be owed favors, but we'll ask someone for a uh, cow. Slide the control on the top until favors due is in the center. Uh, where? Which one? Uh, and yeah, those are just a bunch of clans here. Hello there, Pizza. Yeah, doing well, and you? Hello, Pizza. <clears throat> Let's see, this is where our clan is, and we are just surrounded by other clans. Uh, I believe the colors do represent our relationships with them, so we are likely hostile with these guys here. And we can move this about a bit. I don't know if these maps are randomly generated or not. Uh, slide the control at the top until favors due is in the center. What? Oh, here. Okay, favors we owe, favors due. Okay, Gorinds, who are there. Okay. Uh, they are known for a large border with war powers. Their chief is Harnkul. They owe us a favor. Click the info balloon if you want to hide it. Click on the emissary button to send an emissary. Okay. The dialogue chose uh, the dialogue chose Kulbrast as our best diplomat. Okay. Press the small pic the small picture of his face. Uh, Kulbrast. That's you. Uh, yeah, let's see. You are very good at bargaining, very good with customs, you are good leadership, you are good with magic, and you worship Isarius. Uh, let's see. Pizza, I'm I'm good. 100% the Super Mario Browser, the Brow Bowser's Fury after playing it for 26 hours. And right now I'm doing Pokemon Sword. I'm near the end, so I thought I might as well. Okay. I still need to continue with swords. Sure enough, he has excellent bargaining skill as well as good leadership. Leave him chosen. Click ask for cattle as a ask for cattle as a goal. Uh, where do I send? No, not demand preview. Uh, ask for cattle. There. 
The Groovin clan will be more likely to respond favorably if we give them a few gifts. It's just a good slider to bring 10 cows worth of goods. So basically, uh, yeah, basically, so we're asking, but in, at the same time, we're also sort of trading. There. To bring eight footmen to bring... Yeah, of course, <laughs> it helps to be guarded as you go, because this is rather hostile area. And send. Okay. While the mission is on its way, events require your attention. The ring will advise you when you click someone their recommended actions highlight in blue. Kudrast can't give advice. Yeah, click this picture to see why. Click any response, there's seldom a wrong choice. Yeah, he is away from the Tula. Let's see. Sora Goodseller, a trade priest and tra trader priestess of the talking god Isaris, comes to trade. In addition to the usual exchange of goods, she asks if we have any white horses. Although we have some light grey horses, none can truly be called white. Uh, let's see. What would you advise? We should at least show generosity, so she will spare our good name among the other clans. We could paint a horse white, I've done it before. <laughs> Some of these are just jackasses and jesters. Although we can't fulfill our guests' requests, nothing says we have to honor unreasonable uh, requests. Uh, we have failed in our obligation to our guests. A horse is usually worth four or uh, cows, but white horses are fairly rare. So he really wants to own a white horse. Okay, all of them, or most of them, just say to... Uh, yeah, offer to save the next white horse for her. So, let's do that. We will likely have to keep track of this, because they are likely to return sooner or later. That's a kind offer, but I'm sure I'll be able to find one on my travels. Okay. Uh, your emissary, Kulbrast, approaches the Gorons, asking them to make good on a favor they owe you. Kulbrast seeks a gift of cows from them, the customary number of cows granted by obligation is 20. How many heads of cattle do you ask for? Let's see. They cannot be angry at us for seeking the common amount of repayment. Kulbrast arrives at the Gorin clan near Clan the... Note that only Kulbrast can give advice, because he's the only one here. Choose a customary response of 20 cows, you'll see that you've gained cattle. There we go. The Gorons gave us the cattle without complaints. Okay. Clans get their most powerful magic by worshipping Glorantha's, uh, uh, yeah, Glorantha's many gods. Click magic in the menu. Okay. Yeah, th this is all pretty intricate, but the world is all very reason uh, very interesting as well. But yeah, I, I, I would put this one on the let's not stream it. Because Kikoskia, uh, who is a YouTuber and occasional streamer, they've done a playthrough of this game already, and I have to say, I found it pretty interesting. Yeah, do, I can say also new to streaming as well. I, I find it interesting, the world being... However, the gameplay... Yeah. ...is definitely one of those... Uh, how to say it? It's not a niche. Yeah, it's an uh, old-school uh, town builder. And I believe with this image here, we can generally keep track of the status of our village, or town as it grows. Let's see. In the list of deities, choose Hap Hap Humakt, the god of war. Okay. Um, there you are. Uh, God of War and Death, and of all endings. He is the patron of the severest of warriors, each of whom have a list of stringent vows to uphold. Okay. Uh, yeah, he, he's been selected again. What do you want with him? Okay, it seems to be a bit... <laughs> it seems to be a bit broken here. This is a GOG re-release of this game, by the way. I believe the original came out somewhere in the 90s or 80s. Oh, dear. Let's see. Build a shrine to get a permanent blessing or sacrifice for a blessing. 
Let's see. That, that may explain what it was in some of the cool... Uh, I don't know what they called the Feather Crowns. I don't know if they have an actual name. Actually, probably do. And yeah, we we can see that each of the gods have a, has a symbol next to them, and each of our advisors also has a symbol or two in this case. I forget if that means anything specific, but that's yeah, there, that symbol is Orlanth. Is the other one? Okay, the other one doesn't seem to be a god uh, sign. So this is probably our <laughs> technically us. Let's. See. Ah, there we go. The right side shows magical benefits which a temple built to ha uh, uh, Humacht can provide. Click build. It just tripped us for a bit. When you build, the battle lock blessing can be uh, will be chosen automatically. You can change it. Okay. Yeah. Let's build the shrine. What is that oh. Apparently, there's a heavy rain uh, outside. <laughs> Okay, it seems to be busted again. Uh, but oh, yeah, this, this, game this can... is King of Dragon Pass. Yeah, uh, like I said, Kikoskia has uh, made a playthrough of this game, or you know, recorded a playthrough of this game, and I did he, he did pretty well from what I recall. There's yeah, there's just a lot that can happen with diplomacy and war and trade and just all kinds of random uh, random events that can pop up. Uh, and I guess all this like terrifying tribe. Hmm? The Badger tribe. <laughs> and yeah, there's also a lot of other... Th it's not going to keep to this, of course. I believe you can just go out and explore to some of these areas where you can find, well, things that are beneficial and things that are very much not. So, yeah, I think we can call it a little bit early on this one. Also because it's kind of breaking. It's still a very nice game. Yeah. And... And since this game doesn't actually have an, <laughs> an exit button, I'll just have to close it manually. Wait, what? Yeah, it's it's that kind of old game. Or that old no, of a no, game no, no, to no, be no. put better. Games from the 90s always had an exit button. Yeah, like I said, it could be from the 80s. Uh, I forget specifically where it was from, but yeah... It, if I'm he, probably going to rewatch that Kikoski playthrough. Sense. It you oh, have dear. to you have to force close it down by just pressing the X uh, in the corner. It doesn't have an exit option. I, I, it might have been from the DOS era. Anyways, moving on to our next game on the list, which some for some reason got opened on the wrong monitor. Okay. <laughs> and yeah, the key already knows which this game is. <clears throat> okay, yeah, that was a voice crack, if ever. A solitary king carries the crown to a new land. And starting the timer. And yeah, this is Kingdom New Lands. Uh, uh, hello. Uh, yeah, originally I was planning on adding just Kingdom to this, but, you know, or Kingdom Classic. But, yeah, I heard that this is a better version of it. Wait, what? Wait, but which or, one of, of, of the, the Kingdoms is this? This is New Lands. Oh, oh that is good. Okay. Uh, oh. Kingdom Classic is basically an endless mode version of this game. Yeah, kind of provided the basics. It, made, it, it was one of the other rule things that made these games popular, and they realized, all right, we have a good game going on. What can we do to improve it and actually make something from it then? Yeah. Oh, we came on Newlands. 
And yeah, basically we are a king or queen. Uh, oh, Shogun. Oh, y'all. <laughs> and yeah, we have to basically build a kingdom and survive. Which we do by, well, <laughs> putting gold into a lot of things. Wait, hold up. Pizza lover, what are you creeped out about? Meet the ghost lady. Okay, build, expand, defend. Yeah, th this text would just pop up in Kingdom. Now that it actually has a ghost to tell about it, uh, <laughs> that makes it a bit more... Uh, on the, a bit more immersive, you could say. But yeah, okay, these hunters... Out, will go. Get a ghost. Okay, then. These hunters will be our main source of income for a while, because they'll, ha they'll hunt animals, uh, which will drop the gold, they will run up to collect it, and yeah, you can <clears throat> you can stand next to them to get any gold that they've yeah, got, or get them to drop it. We won't get much of it at the moment, and there is a limited amount that we can hold, so for now... Let's upgrade these walls into something a bit better. Yeah. Also, one of the good things like, is if you want to stream this, this is definitely the version, but there is an end game and all that. You can finish it. And if winter comes, you can use a damn bank. Okay. And yeah, there's also this trader here. In classic mode, you could go find him out. You know, on the sides and get him over for four coins, but I don't actually know what he'd do. I presume he would just give us some equipment, like bows or hammers. Yeah, uh, oh, I should probably say this. You do need to build the towers here. For the yeah. more you upgrade them base, the middle, those towers will be automatically built up. Okay. I noticed so that happening to... once in Kingdom Classic because I actually got to playing that a decent bit. Yeah, that it has more levels. So you rather use your coin to inst uh, make the towers Earth expand on the second... Uh, when it was on the next morning. Yeah. And, yeah, you can take a guess with Minecraft rules. When nighttime comes, the beasts come. Or at yeah. least they it's typically come. At the moment, not. Yeah, no. After a blood moon... The night after a blood moon, there will be no mobs. Okay, to give a I... bit of a yeah, rest time. Yeah, for during the blood moon. Oh boy. Yeah, they will go absolutely mad. Yeah, like the first two free blood moons are not too big of a worry about, but the longer you take on an island, the more fearsome they get. Yeah, and I heard that you have a 30-day time limit on each island. Sort of. Okay. And uh, you'd rather try to make sure you don't get stuck uh, doing one of the islands during winter without coin. You you will be traveling a lot of back and forth between islands. Let's see. And yeah, this game is very minimalistic with its interface and such, and the fact that there is hardly any. And yeah, you can use the moon and the sun as timers for how far along the day is. And yeah, we'll just have to keep building, keep recruiting people. For each night yeah. that we survive, we get a, a payout. Oop. So I believe it will diminish with each uh, or as the further you get. These guys, you need to be careful with. Like, you wrote it. Not wanna cut. You don't wanna cut down the uh, the trees too close to everyone, otherwise they can't will disappear. Yeah, and getting new people can be a pretty big pain in the ass. Yeah. Oh, so hello. It, it's good he has one of those that close. Nope. Probably is he would need to move a lot past the forest now if he wanna expand. So he basically needs to be the wall on the other side of the forest. Let's see. Yeah, I do believe there is a, quite a bit of randomness in the designs and such from where things will spawn. Oh, there is. 
which can lead to some very unfortunate uh, world generations where you just, yeah, don't get much in defensive positions, which you, you can build towers on top of the rocks. And as you can see, there aren't many rocks on this side so far. Yeah. And seems like you can't cut down it. Right. If you I think, I think if you cut down that tree, it can't disappear. So yeah, let's yeah. leave that. Let's so get another archer. This is the first island which you will return to. Uh, okay. Uh, wait, no, that was dumb of me. <laughs> yeah, not too dumb. Just a little slightly west. Okay, here you can expand. Yeah, but, we we yeah, can't uh, build too close to the trees. So that's why these are unavailable. Yeah, uh, no, no. all right, that's a good spot. Here you can make a tower, a wall, and you can make a tower in front of the wall, which is also good. At least yeah. once you got it high enough. Yeah, that is one thing I noticed as well. But for now, night is falling, so let's retreat. We do yeah, not uh, want to get hit by any enemies because we will lose coins. And when we have no coins, well, we have only one thing of gold to drop then, which we don't want to lose. Yeah, and I just noticed your banner. Yeah, it's a fish. <laughs> it's a Ukrainian fish. Oh, uh, and then we have you dressed up as... Okay, almost dressed up as your avatar. <laughs> okay, well, and hello there, you... Marco. You doing well with, I'm guessing, a new account since you have a an O at the end now instead of a zero? Did your phone get taken away? Hello there, Marco! Okay. Oh dear. And yeah, during nighttime, our archers will, will move to the outer layers to defend. And it seems that we are not getting attacked today as well. Yeah, it's the... First day. There's our coin. It's giving us quite a lot, but we are on the first. This is a st the first island. Uh, let's give you that. Uh, I still don't know what that means. It's a lover. I think you only said hello to us. Let's get another builder. Because it's the builders who, well, build stuff and tear down trees like this. Uh, let's see. Hello from a place with no Wi-Fi. Where I loaded Mark. Or hi oh, hi Mark. <laughs> I explored an abandoned rundown motel. Uh, now I just changed my name. Did I perhaps? Uh, uh, okay. <laughs> and now he accidentally did the meme. All right. Uh, when the trees are gone, the overgrowth will slowly retreat like that. A bit rapidly, actually. But yeah, now we can build out a second tier here. And yeah, when one the, once an archer is in one of these towers, to my knowledge, they're not coming back out. So that can be a bit annoying if you keep pushing your borders out and you end up with a bunch of archers who, well, are s stuck behind the lines. They will be good for another thing. Uh, we don't have enough gold for that. Uh, not what I wanted. Oh, oh no! Well, yeah, you can't <laughs> screwed myself. That. Screwed myself already. But yeah. yeah. Oh well, roll with the punches. So yeah, you basically have two main resources. You have your gold. You have your people. And well, with gold you get more people. You get some more equipment to turn people into workers, like builders and archers or farmers. And yeah, the builders are really good once you get access to the catapults. You say, I'm guessing we'll be on the next technology level. For that, we need seven gold. I think you need the cat you get the catapults much later as more you expand uh, the base as well, so they can spawn up. Oh, it's still it's here. Yeah, it's probably not going to go away until the overgrowth has been pushed back. Or the, the tree line and such. But yeah, once After they you... finally fix that, that they don't uh, disappear. So yeah, you'll want. Yep. Nope. There it goes. 
You'll want to oh, no, try no. and get a balance between the amount of people you have and the gold you spend on certain things, because they will just grab the first thing that they get. So if yeah. we were to buy a scythe here and a bow, then anyone coming from the right will just grab the scythe, even if you need archers desperately. So, yeah, it is a nice idea to yeah, just have a reserve of these, because people can lose their equipment. But it might also screw you if you need a bunch of certain you know, of a certain uh, profession. Yeah, and I saw something over there by where the camp was. Something good. Yeah, uh, yeah, the water, a river, I'm guessing, or a spring, whatever. It's a water yeah. flow. Basically, you can make a farm there. Yep, and farms are um, pretty good. Oh yeah, even though Price. the cows be a little bit too good at times. Yeah, pricey to a bit pricey to get going, but they will provide a steady flow of income. And <laughs> steady. Oh, good one, good one. That's a mild way to say <laughs> steady flow. And we will flow it aggressively. <laughs> okay, but if. I'm guessing the merchant is just bringing stuff automatically and we're paying them to get more or something. Okay, uh, let's upgrade I, the I, outer walls. I have seen YouTubers panic whenever they run through the farms and almost just... It rains, rains coin and just pulls out of the bag because it's so full. And sometimes the coins land in the river. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Our, we can sprint for a bit with our horse, but they will get tired and annoyed with us eventually. They won't throw us off or anything, but they will refuse to run a after a certain point. So one yeah. mark I've seen for that is, yeah, that's a, a puff of breath like that. That is when they're starting to tire, so just stop running for a bit and have... Hello. A boat? That's how you could get to the other islands. Okay. First time... You may not need to beat it by piece by piece, but all the times you may need to pay plank per plank per plank. Okay. Uh, let's head back. Uh, upgrade our tents. Let's see. Uh, da -da -da. Oh, uh, by the way, Mark, guess what? I'm nearly at the end of Pokemon Sword. Will you use Anna? I have almost 60 photos I took of the Rundown Motel. Uh, I hope you were in there legally because sometimes those places you know, usually those places are locked down for a good reason because they can just collapse uh, 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 pizza she is pretty weak it's a maybe uh, who is in your team again she is also low level so generally don't know let's upgrade this again there's not much you don't need it, no, the builders don't need to work on these and just as a precaution, I'm going to get another archer. And, oh, now we have... Yeah, okay, so we can get the catapults this early. And let's just say that catapults are pretty strong. For now, though, we are one coin short on that. Did the archers get anything? Okay, that's a different sprite. Well, you got oh, a good that's haul. a banker. Okay. Now there's he's also just the, background uh, noises. <laughs> yeah, he, he's one of those that like, added for the deed realize in the other games that, oh yeah, getting too much money is a problem. Okay. And Are you we going to definitely get want that during winter. So you just have prepared that there's much gold in the bank as possible during winter. Let's see, I think we're one going... Never mind. Okay, the archers won't come looking for you, so it is a good idea to check both sides of your borders you know, each night. Because then they'll be grouped together. And still no attack? One attack. Come if you're the wrong side each time you look. Yep. Now, here they are. These are the greeds. Uh, oh. And uh, yeah, as you can guess, they are greedy. <laughs> Where did that coin come from? But 
Yeah, the archers will shoot. They aren't pretty inaccurate, though building higher towers does help them with their aim. Since, well, they can shoot down, not need to arc it over the wall. Oh, they and... can better. Let's see. Are you going to work? No. Yeah, builders should not be yet. repairing these things. Okay, day five. Uh, let's grab our bounty for surviving the nights. Oh, oh, that. Okay, it's coming from the the merchant. Okay then. Um, let's see. We can afford one of these, and then we get a hammer because it's actually the builders who operate the <clears throat> the catapults. And yeah. Uh Two each, okay. so uh, yeah, <laughs> we'll need an extra builder to actually be able to build stuff still. Though they will yeah, they work on stuff if it's close to them. Uh, catapults are good at early game against the hordes of trash mobs, but they're bigger foes. Yeah. Also, I'm the and only one seeing a sort of smiley in the wall there next to the horse's head. It's Wait, two what? hammers and a saw, but it looks like a bit like a smiley. Oh, no, I see it. <laughs> All right. I think I'll just grab... Uh, I'll try to get another catapult, because they are very strong early on. Uh, I'll need some extra gold for another hammer, for another builder. Actually, do I don't think we have any civilians running around now, so we best go find some more to recruit. Okay. You're coming back again already. Okay, one, two. These camps will typically spawn two people, I believe. You're correct. Um, probably not the best idea to be heading out like this when it's getting darker. And yes, the game will mess with you. Okay, the, the game will mess with you by obscuring the sun every now and then. What? Okay. Not sure what that is about. I'm not familiar with that one either. Yeah, that is the end of the this side, so let's be away from here. That's the portals from which the greed spawn. Yeah, uh, that road sign is new. I don't know what that one does. Yep, horse is out of stamina. I don't know that... Oh, my... Mounts. Is that a new mount, perhaps? Uh, the, the mounts I found, the, the mounts I found in Kingdom Classic, they were three coins, and a bit more obvious that they were a mount, so I don't think it is. Okay. Oh, sweet innocent Helion. The oh, mounts uh, are very different here. Okay, that might have been a bad idea, because that's a Blood Moon. So... Oh, yo, you got a uh, big asshole. Uh, 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 yeah, this builder is... Yeah, they're going to... They're going to rush out, and... Uh, yeah, they're going to be outside the defensive line. So, yeah. Bad idea to start building out... Oh, oh. Okay, well, that serves as an introduction. Yeah, they will also steal... <laughs> they will also steal equipment like that. But at least they did got to get away from there. Let me just grab that coin. Oop. Okay, they stole their coin. So, yeah, we j need to use another coin to recruit them back. Okay. Uh, aren't you two going to repair this? Okay. Um... Day five. Let's grab another of these. And get the other catapults. We can only have one on each side, so... Okay, any harvest for me? Just a little bit, okay. And yeah, just continue going outwards from here. Let's get another bow. Yeah, at least until you have to leave the island for... You need to leave the island to reach the other islands to get the access to obvious 
is allow you to finally do the bomb. <laughs> you will enter the damn portal with and explode it for me and then try to make sure you escape before it blows up. Right. And you usually wanna and when you can do that, you will usually wanna say back to the starter island. Since that's the one is the easiest, the shortest. For the okay. hard ones, the longer distance from the bomb and for the exit. And yeah. The farms that we can build, once we recruit a farmer, give me that, will be out here, so we will need to push our wall outwards again. So, yeah, basically, unless we found a spring close to the other side, that uh, beggar camp was basically screwed from the beginning. Oh, oh that's your camp. Okay. And yeah, from the trees, we just put in a coin and we get the coin back. And almost crushed his house. <laughs> okay. And the catapults are here, they move slowly, so... Yeah, keep that in mind if you're expanding. Because if you, bu if you start building a wall, they will immediately start pushing the catapults outwards. Yeah. So, when, if you want to expand a uh, long distance... Time it properly. Yeah. Okay. Now would and be an I... absolutely bad. Actually, do you, you said that at the nights after they should it should be clear, right? Yep. Unless they changed oh, it. Oh. Yeah, so there is a spring here, so we could have kept the camp. Okay. Tell them to tear these trees down. And actually, is there a defendable wall point around here? There's two tower points here, but I'm not seeing any for the walls. And there's one over here. It's quite a bit back. Yeah, do due, due to it, you could probably do that. Yeah. Let's see, can I mark these for cutting? No, the tree line needs to be pushed back more for that. And what was the first game? That was King of Dragon Pass. Uh, again, uh, we won't... We'll, <laughs> we'll, it will be unlikely for us to stream that. Okay. So, uh, if you are interested in that, go uh, give uh, Kikoskia's playthrough of that a look. I will type his name out... ...to make it easier. Uh, Kikoskia. They, they've been going, uh, they've been uh, making videos on YouTube for like over 10 years or so, maybe even 15. So you could say they, they know what they're doing. Uh, let's, oh, we have a wall point here and another one right after, okay. But the tower point in the forest. Oh, we got a new camp. Now these will spawn a bit randomly as well, it seems. Okay, yeah, this side is like, it's good to have camps close, but they're a bit too close, and the wall and towers are horribly placed here. And what we're doing tonight, likely LA Noir, since Ram is up for that. And if not, then we'll be continuing with uh, Dan the. Uh, not Dan. Why do I keep saying Dan? Dave the Diver. Dave the Diver. Repeat after me, Dave the Diver. Yeah, Dave the Diver. I think it's. I think the upgrading our central area is limit is locked behind a certain amount of days past or something else. I don't know. Again, the minimalism of this game can be a bit of a struggle or a, a hurdle. But uh, yeah, that the timer went off. So yeah, we could we. I would put that game as a maybe. Uh, I would obviously need to. I I probably need to practice with it, and well, it probably oh, there do. will probably be some failed runs and such, but I would be up for it. Maybe more as a side thing. Anyways, it'd probably once... be easier if you had had a friend. Like before, you asked yeah. me to join it. This is one of those games I would probably panic over. <laughs> 
So well, there is the two the crowns grades. version. So I, I could ask around among my friends, or other friends, uh, if any of them have Kingdoms to Crowns, which is the multiplayer version of the game. And I'm oh, yeah, pretty sure all of them are decently cheap. I mean, decently cheap. cheap. <laughs> what did I say, chap? Yeah. No, luckily, I could help you both, since I do know about the game enough from watching so many play it. Okay, so basically you could be the royal advisor. Oh, can mm. I, yeah. Seems, oh, okay, this game is drawing quite a bit, so first off... Let me go here uh, and just turn a bunch of this off. Birds. Okay, for some reason the game is drawing like 90% of my graphics card. Probably one of these that just draws as much as they can to try and re keep things rolling fast. Uh, okay, that dropped it to about 75. Okay. A bit odd, but yeah. Our third game today is Kingdoms and Castles, and I think you are getting a bit of a theme right now with where in the list of games we are. <laughs> and yeah, we're, we're just at the point yeah. where we have a bunch king, of king, 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 king games. King, king, king. <laughs> yeah, and there's a lot of 20 king games after this. Mm, not that many, but yeah. Uh, this game... Um, Let's see, yeah. This game would be... I would call it a more modern version of King of Dragon Pass, but also with a lot less of the hassle of the interface. Now, yeah, let's give it a start. Let's see. Standard mode, recommended. Choose from three difficulty modes in a random map. Grow your kingdom from a tiny hamlet to a sprawling city and castle. Uh, let's see. Baxalan, no threats. A peaceful land with no enemy invaders. Lovely long summers, short but mild winters. Summorn, easy, a good region for a new ruler. Uh, long, lovely uh, summers, mild, uh, less raiders and dragons. Yeah, you can get attacked by dragons and raiders in this. And then we have Vintar, which is the hard area. A harsh land, but a rice ruler can succeed. Oh, and then Fale, survival. Uh, okay, they <laughs> added a fourth in. Unforgiving land, and you will fail, but how long can you last? Okay. Let's go with this area, actually. And we can name our kingdom. I should probably start a timer. We can choose a banner. Let's go with this one. Oh, you can even get a, a custom or a workshop banner. Okay. Let's see. Uh, choose your map. Size. Let's go Raven for stone. random type. <laughs> uh, lands. Rivers. Uh, some. Okay. And we can add AI kingdoms. Okay. Freighton. Skill level medium. Let's put it as low. Let's see. Drag and drop banner in world to set AI start position. Optional. Okay. Okay, so we... Okay, let's, let's go without a different kingdom at the moment. So we can just not have to rush here. Let's see. Build your keep near fertile lands, trees, and stone. Okay. Oh, we've got iron, we've got stone. Oh, oh the, the mouse is inverted, so scrolling forwards zooms out, scrolling back zooms in. And, That's what oh, I mean, in inverted. Okay, I, th I guess it didn't actually do the land generation as I thought it would. I think you forgot to press the right button for it to do it. Let's see, our keep, your home and court, consult with advisors here. Oh, well, we'll make it do for now. Um, let's see, I'm guessing green squares is fertile land, so... Yep. The, gre the greener is the more fertile. Yeah. Let's go over here, then. Your first hamlet, the humble beginnings of a magnificent kingdom. Okay, uh... Shouldn't the game have a tutorial or something to run with this? Up oh, there we go. We can very fertile, fertile, barren. Okay. Uh, let's see. Town, road expands your buildable area and allows peasants to travel faster. Okay. Hmm. Yeah, there's some people who want land of uh, homes, of course. Uh, let's see. Let's just build a U-turn. Or not a U-turn, a turn here for the moment. And go outwards a bit here. 
And oh, not enough resources. Foods. Okay, chop. There. That's all of there for now. Okay. And the people are just going to work. It's and yeah, we'll slowly have to build out our <laughs> our little hamlet into a full-on castle with walls and such. Let's see. Uh, rebuild. Demolish. Cancel. Okay. We have a hovel. Which, let's see. Houses up to five villagers. Yields a low amount of tax revenue. The head of household fetches food and charcoal for the home. There. Oh, is it Marco? I have fun I, on the picnic. See ya and enjoy. And yeah, th this is basically like a Civilization or the old Pharaoh games. Or, or like the old Rome game? Yeah. Like one of those old city builders. Yeah, uh, let's I played see. Oh. only demo. Let's see. Oh. My lord, four people visited, but none could find a home. Our city is full. We need more homes. Okay. So let's build another few then. And yeah, this is how far away we can build at the moment. Um, I'll have to build out roads this way to get to the very fertile land, but I don't want to cover up too much of the normal land, of yeah, the other really fertile land. You know, to make farms on the fertile land. That's so it makes well, the better land better for building homes. Industry quarry. Okay. Yep, there's winter. Yeah, you want to put the quarry near the stones. Let's see. There. Must be adjacent. Okay. Just build a bit of road like that for them to speed up. Let's see, we have little updates over here. I uh, don't know if the upper or the lower part, it's probably the lower part that is most recent. Three people visited, but only two found a satisfactory home and decided to stay to serve you. Okay. Uh, food farm. Let's see, food not stored by Windows End is lost, vulnerable to flooding. Okay. Let's just build a... Oh, we have a limited amount of me resources. Okay. So yeah, that'll get them to, well, feed themselves. We have average happiness. How <clears throat> Fair health, which can be improved by diversifying the uh, diet, it seems. And then we have our building integrity. But yeah. Uh, I doubt we will stream this one in full, but it might be fun to just pick up every now and then. Let's see. Yeah, the, it does seem like it's a game better for YouTube, since then you can cut out a lot of things. Yeah. There was one YouTuber I watched who did a lot out of this for a while, but I don't remember if I stopped watching them or if they stopped. Uh... Are they being dragast? I uh, don't think it was them. It was either Falcon or the the one who uh, has been doing a lot of uh, From the Depths recently. I doubt Mr. Falcon play this. And yeah, I took a look at them again recently, but they're still up with the, the clickbait uh, stuff. So probably yeah, we'll never return to them. I usually ignore them. I usually play the other ones that are a bit more review, that are less clickbaity, or the ones he actually made a series of. Like, uh, Dysphonia. Is uh, rather funny. But yeah, okay. he, is a, he is fun, just... Yeah, he's, he's one of those you need to pay attention to uh, which videos he will be posting. For the quality on the videos, we depend highly on taste and what kind of uh, video series it is making. 
Okay, we've got rain incoming. I might want to build a road this way for them to hurry up a bit. And there's winter. Let's see, we should probably build a... Okay, small granary. Stores food. Villages bring food here to store after each har harvest. Food that can't be stored by the end of winter is lost. Oop. Okay, that's okay. You can still grab it during winter, though. But yeah, this is this is a fun little uh, kingdom builder. It'll take time, yeah. but yeah, a pretty chill game, I'd say. Yeah. Uh, oh right, Baron von Games has also played this. Okay, and yeah, we can set up defenses, but we have little need for that right now. Okay. Uh, let's see. Farms, orchards, and bakeries produce foods. We got 10 food from farms, and that was about it. Minus 5 changed uh, <coughs> since last year. Okay. Let's see, is it done? Hmm. Uh, is nobody working the quarry? Yeah, nobody is working the quarry for some reason. Is it because it's I... in the stone or something? Or did you forget to tell someone to work there? I don't know how to send them there since, oh, well... That's what I, there's new workers. Yeah, I, there's no tutorial, so I don't know how to assign people to it. Uh, click it. Hmm? Yeah. Nothing. Okay, so that is a point against the game for... Yeah, just lacking in tutorial. Not fully staffed, yeah. Hmm. Uh, it might be due to you don't have enough people to staff it. And probably because most of them are busy... Well, there. Okay, let's continue this for a bit. So that we have enough people. And yeah, just simple 2x6 with road on either side, so we can continue on, and we, and we don't have any dead areas in the middle. Also, I'll cancel the rest of these for now, since we have enough woods. But yeah, fun little game. We'll probably stop in a bit and move on to the fourth game. Actually, we can speed things up. A bunch of foods. Now all of them are grabbing the... <laughs> grabbing the woods. Okay, it is a bit annoying that we can't seem to appoint people to do certain things. Or at least at the moment. Oh, job priority. Uh, quarry workers... Now they filled up the jobs, now that everything has been moved. There they, the little bastards go. Starting to get the hang of this governing thing. Okay, a small village starting to get the hang of... <laughs> the same thing. Alright. Uh, yeah, I would have enjoyed if it had more of a tutorial. But maybe there is some... Maybe if we went into the first world, it would have given us a tutorial or something. Maybe? Hmm. Oh, she really has one. Yep. Let's see. Chops and replants trees cannot to be too near other foresters. Uh, let's see. Let's put you here. So that we have a, a more reliable income of trees other than, than just deforesting this place. Yeah. Oh, those are wolves. And yeah, everything looks a bit like little monopoly uh, pawns and such. Uh, mono monopoly. Or game of life. What kind of monopoly have you been playing? <laughs> uh, let's see, granary. 
Let's put you right here. They do sure, look like sweet. monopolies. I don't all uh, this lower. <laughs> I can see right that way for monopoly balls are way more shaped than just a few cubes. Charcoal maker orchards. Okay, can't be flooded by heavy rains. Let's put. Oh, that's a two by two. But you, hmm. you think, yeah, you think you want them on very fertile ground for those are good. Yeah, I, I want, I'll want to put that over here. Hmm. Actually, I could extend the residential area towards there. But yeah. Hmm. <clears throat> no, that's the foresters at work, I think. See, yeah, four workers. And that should have expanded a bit more. Um, oh, yeah, I probably need to bring put up that orchard quickly because we are likely running low on foods. Actually, I should just outright connect that over there. But yeah. As you grow, of course, you will start to attract raiders, and you can even get uh, blasted dragons to pop up. And <clears throat> you can also expand to other islands. So yeah, yeah all in make... all, I'll, I'll probably be continuing. Islands... Sorry, As I say, you can make, make your own islands trade with each other. <laughs> okay, because gold is also a thing. <clears throat> But yeah, I'll, I'll probably play this some of, on my own. And oh, we slaced our new next game. Okay. And when was the last update? Uh, in 2022. Okay, so I don't. I, they're probably all focusing on this game here. But yeah, I'll probably play that on my own time some, but not for main streams. Maybe for chill streams, though we haven't done any of those yet. Okay. While. Moving on to our fourth game, which I I'm a bit mixed about. I've heard that it was that it is good, but from my own playthrough, I got rather bored of it. And yeah, it has a uh, the devil's letters, not the devil's letters, but devil's letters. Uh, EA. Yes, it's, it's a good game. Probably, is, if you like me, that have played it before Gun Four. But when you return to play it, yeah, it's hard to get back into, especially since its weakest point is the starting area. Okay, that explains it. But yeah, this is Kingdoms of Amalur Reckoning. This actually had a re-release uh, some year ago. And annoyingly, I can't actually move the window of this, so I'll have to move my audio bar lower. There, so we can actually see it. Okay. Let's just, oh, yeah. let's put it on casual. Many people want a sequel to this, but they re-released it. The beginning. Okay. Uh, let's do a quick... Uh... Right. What to say is, they released really this game with uh, content they wanted to make in the past, but were able to do now in the re-release. Okay, I should have checked for uh, subtitles. Okay, back, uh, exits, yes, and let's start over with that. Now with, hopefully now with uh, the subtitles on. Yeah, okay, it's not limited to the game you start with it. Okay, new game, casual, and here we go. So restarting the timer. From the beginning, we were wrong. And only now, well into the second decade of the conflict, have we begun to understand the mistakes we have made. We lived in harmony among the Fae, in a world awakened to new magic. Perhaps we should have foreseen what might be born on this rising tide. What force might awaken? A force powerful enough to twist 
even the eternal and immutable favor. <laughs> But Gantflow, the new king of the Winter Court, surprised us all. Singular among his people, he was all that other Fey were not. Aggressive, ambitious, visionary. He had power like none we had ever seen. Terrible and deadly. <laughs> Gantflow and his followers, the Tuatha De Aon, believed that a new god was to be born in the east, beneath Gadflow's crystalline fortress of Amethyn. Oh, yes. In the name of that god, they marched to war against the young races of Amalur. Against a mortal army, no matter the power of their god, we might have been victorious. But the Fey are creatures of magic, not bound by the laws of life and death. Perhaps two have fallen on the battlefield would soon rise again. For the Fey do not know death as we do. How could we stand against such a force? For ten years the war raged. For ten years the armies of men and Alpha fought and died. But as our numbers dwindled, we knew that it was only a matter of time. Our fate had been written. At least, that is what we believed. Until you died. Okay, I'd forgotten that. Basically, uh, <laughs> respawning elves. Yeah. And I would... I've had to say, this is... You probably noticed when you play this, that... They definitely use the same engine as in the Star Wars game in Dragon Age A game. We oh. notice that in the dialogue uh, options. Who, who brings it? <laughs> who brings a deck of cards to the battlefield? They, I don't think they'll stop just for a, a game of cards. It's not freaking Yu-Gi-Oh. Oh, that was not a card. Yeah, that was a uh, tarot cards. Yeah, I know. This one is that Alpha, Baron. Could even be a Jotun. Always a surprise, eh, Garan? Eyes on the job, boy. Don't matter what it is. Dead's dead. And be thankful for that. All we've seen. Go on and pull back the sheet, though. It'll need to be in our report, one way or the other. Okay, let's see. Uh, hmm? the, as it is, this game is definitely inspired by many old European religion, like Scandinavian, Celtic, and so on. Hence the names. Use Alfar, Light Elves. Brook Alfar, Dark Elves. Yeah, and that uh, bad guy definitely has a very dark elf look to him. Oh, he's not, he was none of these four. Let's he's see. not an alpha, he's a fey. Let's see. The Almain are a warlike and religious nation of historic origin. Many Almain come to the fey land seeking freedom while honoring the traditions of their homelands. Plus two blacksmiths, plus one persuasion, plus one alchemy. Now, I've, I've, as could easily be guessed, this is going to be an RPG. Venari, hardened by the high seas, the Venari are just uh, as frequently pirates and mercenaries are they, as they are shrewd the merchants. <laughs> they favor swords and daggers as seaworthy weapons. Plus two lockpick, plus one mercantile, plus one detect hidden. I'm not even going to try. Uh, are a proud and ancient people from the frozen lands of the north. Uh, they judge themselves fit to define rights from wrong, uh, right from wrong on their wind, sun, and sky, and mete out uh, even-handed justice. Okay, sagecraft, dispelling, and alchemy, and another dope call farm. Yeah, are renowned as sophisticated students of magic and diplomacy. While they do not shy from conflict, they prefer to resolve disputes subtly and with grace or efficiently in silence. Okay. Yeah. I just remember, I'm still a bit angry with this game that they didn't release the Dwerger for this. Dwerger or Dwarves? How are they a bit different from other Dwarves? They basically full out Vikings. They make strong ships and they raid villages. They will make fortresses. Let's see, a god to follow or, yeah. Athene, goddess of wisdom and war. 
Ath <laughs> Athena, basically. Uh, Aurelia, goddess of love and beauty, which gives health. Death, Balan, of course, critical hits, fates, Lyria. For mana, okay, the mischief. Lupoko, god of mischief, patron of brewing and <laughs> poisons. Uh, let's go with this one. Oh dear. Uh, as I said, they have a massive world being in this game, which I respect a lot. But again, since the first time they released it, why did it sell well? It didn't sell well enough. He's a docker farm. <laughs> no surprise there. I've seen a lot of them. Though not usually in this good a shape. All right then. Make sure it goes into the report. Oh yeah, now the news. Details. Amazing how well the body held up. Better than I've seen. I'm just glad it's not moving. Must have been born under a lucky star, this one. Anything else we need? Unless you'd like to name him, I think we're done. Put him with the others. I'll go with the standards. <laughs> uh, is that supposed to imply that the gnome actually did well, name the corpse? For you, then. Better luck next time. Uh, Funk. Uh, see, the gnomes are also interesting and unique in this game. But <laughs> I, I get the feeling he hasn't uh, woken up in a worse place yet, even after a <laughs> full night of boozing. Also, uh, really, you're just dumping corpses into ca caves. And... Yeah, not really. I should probably say this about gnomes. The gnomes are, in a vague term, Italian. <laughs> okay. Both Romans. The Renaissance Italian and the Crusader Italians. Just the Legionnaires and Crusaders, or Templars, actually. Well, one way to get something new is to put a lot of things together and blend them. Yeah, they were... Yeah, not exactly you expected to see a Roman Centurion. <laughs> okay. Yep, yep, this is a pretty big-ass cave. Okay, I see now why they're dumping corpses in here. It'll take a lot to fill it up. Uh, let's see. Let's see. Secrecy is still important in our work, requiring specialized disposal of our unfortunate failures. Piling remains have become a concern in the lower caverns, so an incinerator has been added to deal with the wastes. This should make disposal work slightly less horrible, though you should avoid drinking water from downstream of the ash dumps. Hardly a fitting rest for the poor things, but if it's any consolation, these weren't their original bodies in the first place. Original bodies? Okay. Uh, Fumerous Hewis. A gnome. Yeah, that sounds like a very gnomish name, yeah. Uh, that was very... greek roman name. Now, he did say that the... <laughs> the gnomes here are basic, are partially based on the, <clears throat> on the yeah. on Rome. Probably due to due the Italian Renaissance, where they did alchemy. Gnomes were the elemental spirit of earth. Right. And shift is guard. Sense what they made it here for. Yeah, this game is unique. I, I like the world building and what they did with this game. Just tragedy is they were able to do a sequel to expand upon it all. If that makes sense, yeah. Like, a lot of world building, but we did not think it was like, oh, did speak about the Dwerger, but you never get to see the Dwerger. Okay. <laughs> Scatter, children of dust! Scatter before the might of the Tuatha! Okay. Uh, let's see. Pizza, or I might know this game. God, the smell of all the rotting flesh must be horrible, yeah. 
Yeah, many moved this game, for many played it and many loved it. Hence it was a tragedy that he didn't get a sequel. Good. Yeah, I, I guess one reason for that was, well, that you said that the starting area is the worst area. And, well, people with a lot, with how many games there are available these days... Stay away! Okay. <laughs> However, there might be more it might... You, you, I think you did see, see the A symbol. Uh, it did still sell well. But true. Um, there's a chance that uh, something EA did made the original team that made this go bankrupt. Would not be surprised. So, if it, it, well, okay, this part here is fine. This part is, is the part of the fun part, but the first town, Everybody! when you exit this place, is the boring part. Yeah, the forest. I got to there, yeah. got in a bit. Up there, please help me! Please! More mortals. Yeah, it gets better after that, though. Oh. But it takes a while. Okay, yeah, that that is one way to get to lose people quickly. Yeah. No, people didn't mind it at first, but it was more of was noticeable when you try to do uh, a new run. Give me some damn That's boots. That's when it became noticeable. Uh, da, 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 yeah, basic stuff. Uh, boots that give... Okay, three armor and 5% hit uh, crit damage. Oh, thank you. Thank you. I, if you hadn't come along... I, wait. I've seen you before. On the slab. You... You were dead. It worked. By the tome it worked! You're alive! His voice sounds somewhat familiar. <laughs> yeah, also... and also pay attention to the animations and that. Uh, well, uh, you died. I don't know how or even where, but your body was remade in the Well of Souls and somehow it worked. The well restored your soul to your body and it worked! We must get you to Professor Hughes right away. He'll have questions for you. Exactly the same as Mass Effect, SV2, yeah. Dragon Age. <laughs> yeah, they reused the damn same engine over and over. Perhaps the process damaged your memory. They are the Tawatha Deon, the enemies of all the young races. We've never seen them this far inland. Not even during the invasion. I, I don't know why they are here. Hughes may have the answer to that as well. You must stay alive and reach him. Yeah, I think we, I think you could make an educated guess why they are here. The question is more than how did they know about this? The former assumes the Well of Souls is his life's work. The Tuatha are coming in through the lower levels. If we hurry, we should be able to beat them to the top. Take these. They'll help keep you safe long enough to get to Hughes. Now, let's get going! Hold on. Okay, I... Okay, he sounds somewhat like Darkwing Duck. <laughs> Maybe. I just wrote this, remember something. When this game was released, I think many games had the same problem as this game. That mm. you have a good tutorial, that the first town is kind of like a... Dra even Dragon Age has the problem. Yeah. He'll be so, yeah, I think... On the ground floor of the tower. At least, I hope he's there. And safe. I think what's happened is EA screwed him over. That makes Would not be surprised. Not time. Be it's not the but first time I've done way. that. Uh, you go first. <laughs> it could well, be yeah, more the tone of to... voice that he's putting up than the actual voice that is reminding me of uh, Darkwing Duck. <laughs> we could probably check that up at this some point. Wait. Our greatest invention. The Well of Souls! Imagine an end to hope! An end to death! Yep. Well, there's an end to your end of death. Or not yet, but... A few more charges like that. <laughs> Magic C4. You should maybe go, to, go into inventory. Armor. Better. 
Oh, you already yeah. equipped them? Oh, wait, no, no, you haven't. Yeah, now they are. Okay. May I? Getting a very Dragon Age feel from this game. It was released around the same time. Uh, actually, I don't know, I think I think it was released after the Dragon Age. It's kind of how I noticed. Wait, I recognize the animations. Yeah, it feels a bit like and, a mix between Fable and Dragon Age, and that might have hurt it as well. That people were thinking that it was a knockoff or something. Uh, oh no, people love this game. It's one of those. If you, you, if you were to look. Oh, a video, sometimes video will say games that should have a, a, a sequel. This is one of those games that people want a sequel. Again, EA. Yeah. But yeah, if something gets a reputation as to look like a, a knockoff or so, then that's going. That's likely to affect sales. So. From what I know, people use that term in a positive way. Okay. Uh, Again, let's see. people love this game. I love to play it. Just again, the first first quarter style is a bit of a drag. Yeah, but good On reviews and such it... don't always lead to good sales and all that. Let's see. Yeah, but I do know it sold well, and they had many DLCs that people loved. Okay, so shields are on the armor here. Do you hear something? Uh oh. Yep. <laughs> uh, there's something I know about it, what people really love about it is the weapon gameplay. Okay. Uh, longbow? Uh, there's. Okay. Yeah, you can uh, switch between them in the middle of combat to make combos. Okay. And secondary. Okay. And we swap with Q. Okay. Yeah. No, I should warn. I was playing this on PlayStation 3. And... Let's shoot them before they see us. Okay, that's a bit oh. boring to <laughs> block on it, but it's easy. Yeah, I think I should remember why I always had a drive with the four, uh, first of all. level. But I had trouble to get the injury game learned each time, so I made many new characters. This meant I made that force down many, many times. So why that one that's me? <laughs> so might have been... Yeah, I think it was more EA than the... I think the force was more me. Okay, and what happened then, Pizza Lover? Oh yeah, what happened, Pizza Lover? OMG, y'all won't believe what just happened to me. Did you get, uh, <laughs> did you get lucky through the end of swords, and just by getting a lot of crits or something? Or did you meet your arc nemesis, Pizza Hater? Okay. Are deadly if you catch an enemy unaware. Their speed more than makes up for their size. Daggers are a special kind of weapon preferred by rogues. Try equipping them now. Yeah. Uh, let's also, see. Also, what I say is this game does look gorgeous. Okay, it has lower damage. Uh, it looks pretty nice so far. Uh, oh, that was a centurion. <laughs> Emphasis on was. No, he's a wall decoration. Let's see. I'm just going with whatever has more armor at the moment. More up ahead. If you can sneak up on them with your daggers, you should be able to finish them quickly and quietly. Okay. Up. Okay, C to enter stealth mode. Yep, your typical I see you meter. Let's see, sorry, Pokemon, so if the eye fills up, you will be noticed. <laughs> okay, just... 
Okay, daggers and fey blades both enable you to perform these special spells. Okay. Give me that. Fey blades are fun. We're just going for the heavy metal sneaking. We're going for metal <laughs> gear solids. Because our gear is metal and solids. Look at the mortal burn of the sky. That's what you wanted. <laughs> well, they have been corrected. So, a lockpick. Uh, that's your Let's... privacy. Fey blades are. Uh, you, you obviously bleed Warcraft 3, right? Uh, I know it, I've played it for a little bit, but never got far into it. Uh, do you remember Demon Hunter's weapons? Yeah, like the double-sided things. They were in this battle. game. Perhaps there is more to you than it seems. Mm. Hello. What are you? Magical, of course. <laughs> okay, let's see over here. Regarding the spiders, he was, uh, per your request, we finally got the spider problem under control. Claude will try to take credit for an efficient cleansing with his praetors, but I feel he overstates his case and fails to recognize the value of my own quick thinking and scholarly work provided to this uh, successful operation. While overseeing the spider purge, I noticed that those guards who were affected by spider venom exhibited stiffness of joints and tightening of skin. Symptoms would suggest a possible solution for the internal cohesion problems of some of the Wells' creations. I would have studied the symptoms in more depth at the time, but the guards willfully and frequently disobeyed my orders to delay application of antitoxins. Uh, as such, I request that we capture some of these spiders in order to harvest their venom and for future testing. Uh, furthermore, I trust that these insubordinate guards will be punished immediately for my steadfast pursuit of knowledge. I require no medal nor promotion. All I would ask is that you please reassign me off subject disposal detail. Guran. Yeah, of course, it wouldn't be gnomes if there wasn't some level of uh, unethical experimentation or at least want for it. <laughs> Uh, Let's see, torn ropes, mana potion. Yeah, good gods. Again, I like this game. Just a shame what happened, and again, I think the wolf full thing is just was me. Says again, if you restart the game over and over, you get sick of the starts. Yeah, dude, I never got sick of this part. Dude, too, I feel like this was probably one of the best tutorials I experienced so far here in my gaming years. Yeah, no complaint of me so far. Uh, let's see what Pizza said. So in Pokemon Sword, you can build friendships between Pokemon, and one of my Pokemon almost got insta-killed, but it survived with 1 HP since that I had built up such a connection with it that it didn't want to disappoint me, make me sad. Plus, for this to happen is very rare. I've had that happen in some Pokemon games, so it's not just in Swords. But right. yeah, that, that that is, it's not very rare to my knowledge, but it is decently rare. It's not something you can just rely on to get yourself through a fight. Let's see, I doubt these have better armor. Oh, yeah, it just goes over it instead. But it's still more armor. Your, your robes is a different armor group, if you spell casters. Oh wait, did I put away the pants as well? Then it's lesser armor. Also, uh, I can see why they wanted to not... They wanted to get rid of these things. <laughs> They're this fucking big. Okay. Yeah, staff. Staves are a type of weapon preferred by mages. Try equipping it now. Okay, might as well. Yeah. There are three different mage weapons. Staffs, scepters, and chakrams. Okay. Uh, stream you need two chakrams and throw it around. Oh. Okay. Uh, the timer went off, but let's give it a little bit more. I would almost say we could stream this. Trouble is... It's a long game. Yeah. A 
and you kind of need to do as many quests as possible for the levels, for you will need them. Oh, it's a spider sack. Okay, that explains it. For a moment, I thought that's a weird-ass flower. Okay, I'm leaning towards putting this towards a yes as well, but the length is going to be not an issue, but a bit troublesome, perhaps, would be a better wording. Yeah, and I do remember some of this game, not all of it, but I do remember I've been doing the worst area so many times. Hurry, get out of here! Okay. Let's give this a little bit more time and then we'll move on to our last game for today. <clears throat> Which is also actually the Lost Dad, Kings <laughs> titled game. You're not one of them. It's so get alive! And who is this? That's what I intend to find out. He came out of the well. What? Then he'd better get inside to see the old man. Quick! Before those Twatha make another push. Yep. This is where we part ways. But take whatever you want from this armory. We might have a few things that would fit you. Just make sure you get your shoes. We can hold off the Tawafa here. Uh, let's see. I suppose these might be able to help if the Tawafa realize what you are. You'll need them. Yep. Okay, some potions. We can't risk you getting killed. Your proof that the well can work. Don't you realize what that means? Just if you told me, I made up. the top of the well. Hughes will be there in his study. I'll see you <clears> on the outside. Also, uh, I didn't expect a centurion to sound Scottish. <laughs> or Irish, I don't know. I can never tell. Ah, plate armor. Nothing protects quite like layers of impervious metal. Oh. No more. Okay, uh... It's... Okay, he's just going to comment on those. Now, there's... is there a leather thing somewhere? Yeah, there's leather here. Is this leather just weapons? Is yeah. Thin, but we'll give you the speed to reach an enemy's boat. It's, yeah, your basic uh, mage, rogue, and fighter stuff. But one thing I've... you can mix things up in this since, well, you can oh, yeah. get multiple weapons and you also have to s spells that you can use at any time. You okay. can also unlock special classes. Okay, that sounds of interest. These are uh, hybrid between the East three, like you can now do a combo of all three or a combo of uh, two each. Okay. That could be interesting to look into, so we'll put it as a big a, a big yes leaning maybe. It's just the time yeah. investment that would be a nuisance. Yeah, just the I think you can rush it, just we need to investigate it. And maybe maybe you get the newer re-released one with more uh, things, with maybe even fixed bugs and all that. Okay. And yeah, on to the last game. And uh, Sierra is a name that shouldn't need introduction. And, well... What the...? Okay... Oh... Uh, okay. I forgot they made uh, you one of you years... Oh wait, it's not that few years ago now, is it? <laughs> this is King's Quest. Or rather, the modern uh, game of it, which isn't a remake or anything of the old games, though I do think that they could use remaking. Oh, yes, sir. I may have seen some gameplay of this, maybe. <laughs> but, yeah. There is history behind this game, and not that I've been involved with that personally or anything, or been affected by it personally, but some of the people that I followed online, uh, like uh, Paul Dugan was his name. Uh, I know his. <laughs> yeah, I believe it was Paul Dugan, an old uh, Channel Awesome contributor that I really liked. He was one of the musicians, you know, people. Uh, I'm pretty sure he has done playthroughs of near every game of. No, man. I know he did one at the absolute least of King's Quest V. And I have He's seen plenty of videos on the rest of the series, but uh, the original King's Quest I could be considered by many to be the original adventure game. Yeah, 
when, when was that released? 85 or something? Yeah, in the 80s, if not the freaking 70s. But yeah, there yeah, to uh, say there is history behind this is an understatement. Yeah, pizza lover, you don't know Sierra. Sierra is one of those co old computer comp gaming companies that done a lot of games. They they it were one of the first, or one of yeah, the first to make it big and last a while. Yeah, and also, it, it, in fact, they actually made a. Diablo 1 expansion. Okay. But yeah, this game, uh, it won't itself go over the actions and uh, events of the original games. King Quest 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And I forget if there was a seventh. I know there was Mask of Eternity, which people did not like. Again, because they didn't do Atonic Trouble, because they just jumped straight into 3D without actually doing any practice. But this game, uh, it fills in the gaps. It fills, it, it takes place in between each of the other games. So it's basically a cement that ties everything closer together. Okay. And originally it came out in chapters. Uh, season pass, person. Oh, I see. I, I, it's a bit of a bitch that I need to buy all the other ones. But, uh, yeah, as you see, there is progression through these. And, uh, hmm. I'll say this. I will not be against streaming this. I, I, I think Pa also did a, a Let's Play of this series. And, well, as Wait. someone who knew the games... That he got a lot more insight into everything. What? Can you repeat that name? Pa. Your dad made a let's play? No, not... Not my... <laughs> are, are you joking there? Or... No, P-A-W, as in a, a, an animal's paw. Oh, I thought you... <laughs> I thought you used to use a, one of the many words for dad. No. Oh yeah, Paul okay, Dugan. Yeah, I, I, I believe it was Paul Dugan who I watched Let's Play this game, and well, since they know a lot more and have a lot more, uh, yeah, nostalgia and interaction with this King's Quest series, uh, I would definitely advise to go you know, look that up. I might That's have seen him then, maybe. For now, let's give it a shot ourselves. Yeah, I see this one. I, it might be from that guy, actually. I never finished watching it, though. Getting into position. Let's see, what are you up to, Graham? Oop. It's a deep well. Oh dear. And that's a ladder. Yeah, deep well. I have not been back there in years, but it was the last place left to look. Hello. Those lost wishes weren't the treasure I was after. The wishing well. It. The uh, hello. It was not exactly as I remembered it, but it wasn't all that different either. It, you came from one big cave to another. What the...
Nope. Two odd contraptions guarded the lost treasure. I would have to turn one and see what happened. Yeah, this is, uh, like the other King's Quest, this is just full-on an adventure game. So a bit less on the action. If, if, so that's it, what would have happened if I turned the left switch. But since I am here telling this story, you already know that I pulled the right one. And yeah, since it is an old <laughs> style after old school adventures, uh, you can get yourself killed pretty quickly. So, uh, let's not. Oh, dear God. I also realized, I'm surprised you don't have King's Bounty for some reason. Uh, I do have that, but it just didn't want to work with, uh, <clears throat> it didn't want to work with OBS. Or rather, it refused to be windowed, even when ah, it tried okay. to force it like that. And yeah, for people wondering, King's Bounty, from what I read up, uh, based, it's basically considered the predecessor to uh, Might and Magic. Yeah, it is a spin-off. Again, Heroes Free of Might and Magic is a spin-off. <laughs> I decided this was no time to take a nap, even though that bed looked very squishy and very comfortable. And yeah, I guess that should have been an obvious tell that that was not the one to, to touch. <laughs> yeah, I'm not a... Uh, do you know those classic games where you have four characters, but you see from from behind the eyes and they, sh uh, they fight? But like you never see your, your characters when you see the enemies? Are you going to uh, tunnels? Yeah, the old uh, dungeon crawlers, like uh, Legend of Grimrock, which is on the to-do, on the to showcase list. That's the original uh, Might and Magic games. Okay. Oh, it's bells. Butter churns and beds were jammed in every nook and cranny of that cave. It all seems so familiar. Okay. So many beds. Oop. And they look comfortier than mine. <laughs> well, almost. The bed was very comfortable. This was no time to hide under the covers. <laughs> Hanging from stalactites? We'll get there, Gwendolyn. No, worry. No detail in this story will be overlooked. Now, where was I? Ah, yes. As I treaded through the river of rumbling trundles, I feared I knew the source of that deafening wind. Where did they get all their bits from? Good question. Uh... Yes. Beneath a slumbering pile of teeth and claws was... Fabled Mirror! Oh, so you remember this part of the story. Well, dragons are my favorite. Do you want to tell this part? Yes! King Edward sent me, the greatest knight in all of Daventry, on a quest to return his stolen mirror. A gigantic, hulking beast of a dragon was the last thing in my way to... In my way to... <laughs> my way to add a shinier hat to my collection. Helmet? Hello? I tried to turn that crazy contraption, but it was missing a handle. Someone tampered with it, creating some silly conundrum. Okay. Well, does the man be missing a, a, a handle? Yeah, it's the fact that it won't stick on anymore. More, I think. <clears throat> it's more the matter that it won't stick on anymore, I think. Volumes of old books with foreboding titles clutter the shelves of that strange bedroom. How to tame a dragon, breaking the spirit of hideous beasts, amateur spells to impress your friends with. <laughs> No books about recovering missing handles, though. Let's see, we have nothing in our inventory. Imposing titles. Hello. So, the missing handle was booby-trapped? What did you do? 
Well, I use my cleverness to outsmart the trap. <laughs> Then I use my cleverness to hide. Hey, yes, people, that was an Indiana Jones joke. For <laughs> reference. Arrow stuck in its horn? No, it was in his, his eye. Yeah, <laughs> that's a bit of a bad, worse place, yeah. Luckily, that half-blinded beast never noticed me in bed. A dragon's eye must be really hard to pierce with an arrow. At archery lessons, I can barely hit a hay bale. It is indeed a, a feat only for skilled archers. Uh, oh, I think I, I get it. I turned that crazy contraption, but it was missing a hand. Okay, I can't skip. It with it, creating some silly conundrum. Okay, so this is where we can use the wooden handle. Okay, I'm guessing all of the handles need to be in put in place to keep it in place. Oops. Dragon's chains were coiled around a gigantic switch mounted to the cave wall. This cave seemed to be filled with failed adventures. Very unlucky there. Oh. At least it likely would have been instant. After he briefly basked in the sun, the narcoleptic dragon went back to snoring. I'd probably sleep all day too, if Amira was my only friend. And chained up? Yeah. But it's hard not to feel a bit sorry for the dragon. <laughs> really? It's a bit macabre. And uh, yeah, this thing snores like a, <laughs> a tornado. Oop. Okay, a little bit of action where we need to, well, not get spiked. Where the heck did the, all the bits come from? <laughs> Just getting <laughs> pushed back and forth Ooh. for eternity. Wait. Okay, yeah. Bit of a stealth section. So let's not step on any more bones. Nice and steady. Oh, quick. Luckily, it's a bit of a slow waker. And a quick falling asleeper. Okay, let's get out of here before it actually starts to wake up. Designed this trap, thought they were pretty clever, but I would probably find a way to hit that unreachable switch. Okay. We'll need a bow or something. Yep. And we find a, a bow or something. Oh, this I remember. Ray, um... Uh. 
Yeah, this dragon is a bit selective with its hearing, huh? Whoever made this has a bit of a shoddy craftsmanship. The mirror called out to me. Let's see. A ridiculous feeding contraption was cobbled together to keep the beast and probably its owner alive. Uh, okay. <laughs> I'm guessing this meat would be pretty stale. But I'm guessing the dragon isn't going to complain too much about that. Uh, well, I guess we found the ring bearer. And that's quite a piece of meat. Let's see, it is a puzzle. Uh, yeah. If it's a drug, I guess it would not mind eating rotten meat as some less like Mojo Dragons. They may eat fresh or rotten, they don't care. Uh, I see. It's going to bring the meat over there. So we wake him up again. So he'll go over there. There we go. Now the mirror is left alone. Okay. Uh... Ah. Okay. Get that moving. We get on top of the next slab. Ta-da! Oh. But that's it? Oh, there was some ghoul as well. Nope. But who needs gold when you have a magic mirror? Yep. 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 Okay, that was cl <clears throat> that was close. By improving himself to be quite the archer. Yep. Yeah, quick. Yep. Okay, some of the uh, <laughs> some the splashes are two D. <laughs> nice little thing. Uh, there. It sounds it that adds in on the uh, fairy tale feel. Yeah, and it will, I mean, it's semi cartoony as well. Yep. Okay. Okay, nice little cave. Uh, back to action. Yep. Have a nap. <laughs> uh, uh oh. Let's not run underneath those. Yeah.
Okay. <laughs> With a magic mirror safely in my possession, I dreamt of the Daventry I would be rewarded with. And the kingdom it could become. Yeah, the story of the original King's Quest was that basically the old king was promised whoever could retrieve the three uh, treasures of the kingdom, the, the three magic... Uh, <clears throat> the, hey. In that split second, I had three choices in front of me. Any would clear my path to safety, and all would have rippling consequences. I think something good happens if you free the dragon. You can let it go, you can blind its other eye, or lure it away with the foods. Yeah, the original story was that the old king would reward his crown to whomever would return the three treasures. And the, th the three treasures. And of course, the mayor was one. My arms could barely grip the rope, but with the last of my strength, I climbed out of the well and headed back to the castle. Ever since the magic mirror returned, its reflections have warned the kingdom of danger, kept our family safe, and it has exposed many troublesome crumbs tangled in my beard. Yeah, yeah, yeah. King Edward was so proud that you returned his lost treasure that he made you king. Everyone knows that part. Now, can we get back to that dragon? Gwendolyn, there is so much more to my stories than dragons. I hope this old cap will be remembered for far more than the action tattered across its brim, sewn into the seams of many hidden adventures. All right, let's get back to the dragon. Tell me everything. Like, why did you set the dragon free even though he was trying to eat you? I set him free because, well, over the years I realized that the dragon was not the despicable, hideous beast Daventry had made him out to be. He was just a caged animal that was never shown any kindness. On that day, I forgave the dragon for his atrocious past. You have such a bizarre way of making friends, Grandpa. I guess I do, too. I'm known as Gwendolyn the Popular back home. But only to my stuffed bunnies. I've always found it best to pursue friends where I can, though they don't always feel the same about me. All right, you two. Grandpa needs to rest. Gwendolyn, it's way past your bedtime. Sleep well, Grandpa. I'll be back first thing in the morning. I don't need rest. I'm as spry as I've ever been, though I wouldn't mind a slice of magic fruit. Those are callbacks. <laughs> yep. I'm pretty sure that one is from King's Quest 4. I'm glad you're finally here. He's been asking about you for days. I had to sit through the same story five times. We got here as fast as we could. And I like Grandpa stories, especially the ones with dragons. Ah, oh, yes, the legendary beast that he set free. I don't know if he forgets I've heard that story before or he doesn't care, but he loves telling it to anyone that will listen. I'm pretty sure I heard the nursemaids telling his same jokes in the hall. Have you heard anything the doctors are saying? Yes. Doctors, wizards, magic elves. 
grandfather is fine, Gwendolyn. They all say the same thing. He's just old. He still has a few good years left. Look, we're all excited that your family made the trip, but there's no need to worry. You should get some rest. I'm sure you're scheduled for a full morning of Grandfather's hilarious ramblings. Oh, I'm also scheduled for the tournament tomorrow. Ah, oh, yes, the fencing tournament. You'll love it. I'm, of course, favored to win, and will make sure you have the very best seat to view my victory. The courtyard will be filled with important people and delicious hors d'oeuvres. Oh, um, I'm actually competing in the tournament. Hmm. I had no idea we were hosting a junior tournament. That's incredible. In that case, I will gladly be there to cheer you on and eat delectable appetizers. Nope. No junior tournament. I'll be squaring off against you. I see. Well, perhaps this is the time to stop listening to stories and finally make some of your own. Good night, Gwendolyn. Sleep well. Come in, Gwendolyn. You can set those on the nightstand. Grandma said to take three spoonfuls of each. I'll get to those. No need to fuss over me. Now, let's talk about far more important issues. Like that fencing tournament. I hear you're competing. Well, I signed up, but I'm not so sure anymore. Nonsense. If it's Scott you're worried about, he's no bother. After all, I only learned that you entered after he complained about it all morning. Threatened, I'm guessing. There are many ways to win a duel. I, for one, have always been fond of... Yeah, these uh, decisions will help steer things in the uh, overarching story of this game. Because, well, as it's obvious, it's actually King Graham himself telling tales <laughs> to his granddaughter. And yeah. let's see. No. I could this easy. Do you think the kite, the nice one, is always the answer? Oh, sadly not. Yeah. The old problem in a different way. Sorry. Finding a clever distraction to create a moment of victory. <clears throat> Speaking of, that reminds me of a story. One I know you haven't heard before. When I was a much younger lad, before I was a knight, before I'd been to Daventry, and even before I had seen a dragon. It's a tale about a tournament that changed my life. It is a long story, but I shall tell it briefly. Briefly. And yeah, this... Well, Triumph, this looks as good a place as any to camp for the night. Let's rest up. We have a big day tomorrow. <laughs> Idiot. <laughs> Even the hamster thinks it. But yeah. Uh, he, I, I forgot he wrote a giant capybara. <laughs> uh, to, to say that the King's Quest series is quirky is a bit of an understatement. But yeah. One one possible problem with this game, if we were to let's play it, is that uh, it's already a, a tale being told by someone. <laughs> so we won't have too much time to input things. After gracefully rappelling down the cliff, I will the sight of an actual road, the first sign of civilization. And yeah, I'm pretty sure you can get yourselves killed there by running into one of the trees. Yeah, uh, all right. I want to say is everything has a consequence. So, like sometimes a benefit may come for the most unexpected answer. Yeah, this is this is a very good game, especially to people who play the original King's Quest game. So even if we do not, even even if we do not stream this game ourselves, I would highly recommend to look up. Uh, actually, was it Paul Dugan who did this? Let's play of this. Let me get a quick look for that. Might be. No, I'm not against. I'll stream this. I just yours will probably warn that it can get heavy. 
Uh, let's see. King's Quest. King, I, oh, yeah. He did a King's Quest retrospective. He has streamed King's Quest 2 AGD remake. King's Quest 6. King, oh, yeah. So he has basically done every th one of them. And yes, he also did this game. So I'm I'm going to put it... I'm just straight up going to put a link here to his channel. He has been uh, inactive for, uh, for quite a while. Uh, but that is because he has started a family. But yeah, yeah definitely nice. worth uh, definitely worth a look, Paul. Even some of his older stuff for uh, Channel Awesome. Because he... He has done mostly, uh, yeah, King's Quest, even <laughs> Leisure Suit Larry stuff as well. But I found him through his original uh, videos on uh, King gaming music and such. So yeah, definitely someone to check out. And uh, let's see, there is also his wife. Let me, if I can remember her name for a bit, or I can just look at the homepage. She's probably also linked YouTuber. there. Yep. They met they met each other through Channel Awesome. Uh, All right. Was it yeah Maven? I think it was. Kind of nice. Like, I know there are couples that do YouTube together and have their own channels. All that. Just don't know how common that is. Yeah, Maven of the Eventides. Uh, they are Paul. <clears throat> they are both most active on Maven's site. Uh, where she does a lot of vampire stuff, like a playthrough of, a, or somewhat recently a playthrough, or somewhat recently, quite a while back, uh, of uh, Vampire the Masquerades. But they're they're a fun couple. They have a kid as well now. I think I've seen that name before. All right. But yeah, both are definitely worth a look. They might not be the biggest YouTubers because Maven here has uh, fifty six thousand subscribers. And Paul has, uh, let's see, only 9,000 subscribers left. Probably because he has been more active on Maven's side. But they're still very much uh, worth it to spend some time out. You know, to spend some time checking them out. But yeah, that'll be it for our Showcase Sunday, though. A bit over time, but... Uh, well, King's Quest that. is yeah. King's Quest is worth it to go a bit over time. It would be a shame to cut it short, to put it in a different way. Yeah. And yeah, that'll be it for today with the showcase. If ROM is available still later, we will be continuing with LA Noir in about uh, two and a half hours. And uh, yeah, for now though, let's go look for someone to raid. So let me bring yeah, the oh, browser back up. You forgot. You forgot. If Rob hmm? is not available, it will be Dave the yeah, Diver. There we go. Oh wait, you had trouble with the first name. That yeah. Yeah. yeah, Dave the Diver. Okay, let's see. We have Zina Voya or Voya. I'm not sure how to say the last bit. They are streaming Story of Seasons, Pioneers of Olive Town, basically modern uh, Animal Crossing. No, not Animal Crossing. Uh, Harvest Moon. We have I'm Nice, who is streaming Wild Hearts. Uh, Isaya Rozier is streaming Dishonored. See, uh, I thought that was they. I thought they were playing through the game for the first time last time we raided them, but no, they've played through the game before, so they know how things are. They're basically going for a high chaos run. Uh, Kiri Natsuyoko is playing Tabletop Simulator. Okay. Uh, a <laughs> they're making they're making a puzzle okay didn't know you could get that on the tabletop simulator but i shouldn't be too surprised i guess uh Kenai is streaming stalker anomaly which is modded or fan reworked stalker of the stalker shadow of chernobyl and such and then we have rokuku Prufe. we haven't seen them in a while they are streaming the witcher 3 wild hunt Hmm. And that reminds me to put yeah we need to put uh, the Witcher series on our to do on our to stream list at some point uh, because I've been holding off on the Wild Hunt uh, for quite a while. Uh, you do know those are very lengthy games. Yeah. Uh, any of the recommended here that look interesting to you? I wouldn't know. I can't see them. 
I, I, it's it's too much of an automatic thing for me to assume. So yeah, I I <laughs> presumed that I'd already changed the screenshot, even though I didn't. <laughs> okay. Uh, any there that look interesting to you? Okay. Let's see. Recommended. Coral Island. Yeah, I heard something about uh, that Coral Island. Apparently, it had potential, but uh, squandered. Sank. Okay, looks and it looks like they might be quitting since they've already been going for two hours and they're on an end screen or something. Oh, they, they look at the horrible. Intro VT just went live, but they're they'll be doing art. Um. That's, so we raid Xena. We met. Uh, we found them through uh, Marco. Yeah, we're not. Even though you, somehow we only see. Um, I think of so. Uh, I think of a different Xena. <laughs> yeah, Princess Xena, uh, Prince uh, Warrior or something. Warrior Princess. Yeah, Warrior Princess Xena. Okay, let's copy the name. Head to our place and slash raid paste. And uh, yeah. Just to go over things again, King of Dragon Pass, uh, not for streaming, but I highly recommend Kikoskia's uh, playthrough of that, or other people who've played through it. Kingdom New Lands, uh, likely at some point, probably a side thing, maybe two crowns as well. Uh, kingdoms and castles, mm, I'll probably try it out a, a while for myself, but not for streaming, like, other than just lazy stream outside of the usual schedule. And Kingdoms of Amalur Reckoning. I was originally going to say no to this, but since you recommend it highly, I'm willing to put it on the yes list. Yeah, just let's do research to see how long it is and see if you can get the new, the released version that has a bit more things, which perhaps also uh, involves, uh, you know, hotfix patches and whatnot. Okay, and... Okay, Kingdoms of Amalur Re-Reckoning is being is set to be you know, set to take about twenty four and a half hours for the main story, uh, fifty one hours for main and extra stuff, and completion is ninety two hours. So yeah, that yeah, would we, definitely be a long one. Yeah, we will do the main story. Yeah, maybe some side quests for levels and such, but. Yeah, mostly for that, and more well, if they're just interesting. <clears throat> yeah. And then we have King's Quest. Telltale's King's Quest, if the graphics didn't make that obvious already. I'd say a definite yes. I I would fully admit that pause playthrough of... Uh, pause playthrough... Uh, let's play. Yeah. Let's play playthrough. Not much of a difference. Uh... Pause uh, Let's Play of that would be utterly superior to whatever we could make, but I'm still willing to give it a... You know, I'm still willing to give it a go. Yeah, I'm still willing to go. And I think I just realized why I never finished watching it. Oh? I caught up with it. <laughs> Basically, he wasn't done recording it. Okay. <clears throat> Stretch. And I just forgot... You, you, you want me to get the stretch bench to stretch out your arms? All right. No. All right, then. Well, like I said earlier, in about two and a half hours, L.A. Noir or more Dave the Diver. Or if uh, right. something comes up, maybe we rest instead. Unlikely, but always a possibility. And uh, yeah. Until then, though, thank you everyone who has been watching uh, now or later. Thank you, Pizza Lover and Marco, for chilling along. And thank you, as always, Edric here. You're welcome as always, my friend. And yeah, let's start up that raid. And until next time, be that later or another day. Thank you all again for watching. And until then, have a nice day. Be safe, everyone. I wish out for zombie seagulls.